Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. I want to ask you all a question. Should you perform a mold inspection prior to addressing mold in a crawl space? Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to indoor air quality, crawl space encapsulation, and waterproofing. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Make sure you check us out on Facebook. Also, we have a DIY store and a franchise opportunity if you're interested. So recently I did a great interview with Michael Pinto and I'm going to put a link to that video down below. He had some great information about, uh, you know, people with mold sensitivities and different things like that. And one of the questions I asked him was about inspecting or testing for mold prior to doing a mold remediation in the house. And I'll be honest, he kind of shocked me with his answer because he runs classes and, and certifies people for mold inspections and mold remediations. But one of the things he said was, it's not always required uh, to do a mold inspection or mold testing of the crawl space or the, even the living space, especially on a DIY project. So many times when we go into the house, we can pretty much identify what a fungus looks like, right? We see the, the fuzz growing on the joists and all that. So what good is testing that and, and you know, sending it off to a lab and identifying it, right? There's not maybe a whole lot of good. Now, what you could argue is that it would be nice to see at what level the mold was prior to the remediation, and then you test it again to make sure the remediation was done correctly. And I certainly encourage you as a homeowner, if you feel like that the company that performed the mold remediation, whether it's in your living space or your crawl space, if you feel like they didn't do a good job or you didn't notice that they that they did a good job, I encourage you to have it tested. Either do air samples in the living space, find out what the air quality count is, do some surface samples in the crawl space. That's another misconception is a lot of people, even home inspectors that I've met, want to do air sampling in a crawl space. You're not supposed to do any form of air sampling in a non conditioned space and a crawl space is classified a non-conditioned space, okay? Just like with the conversation with radon testing that we had with Bruce Sneed, he does not recommend you do radon testing in a non-lived in, non-conditioned space. So if you're going to do mold testing down in the crawl space, you want to do surface testing of the joists and the subfloors and different things like that to make sure that active mold has been addressed. And we actually have some DIY kits that you can get and I'll put a link to that down below. So if you want to purchase a DIY kit, you take a sample, you send it off to a lab and it tells you whether the mold is alive or dead. That's what you're interested in. Air sampling is a little different. They have viable samplings, which is telling you whether the mold is alive or not, but many of the air samplings taken are non-viable, which means that it's only telling you if there's mold present. Okay, so if you are, uh, you know, having some severe allergy problems or you have real bad mold sensitivities, even those dead mold spores that are in the air can cause you to have a reaction. So that is very important to make sure that all mold levels are brought as low as they can be inside the living space, whether they're viable or non-viable, which means alive or dead. Okay, so testing for mold can be a great way to give you an accurate picture prior to the construction, the remodeling, the, uh, the remediation, the mitigation, whatever you want to call it, whether it's in a crawl space or a living space. But most of the time, testing and inspections like that are done because they don't know if there's a mold problem. So they'll pull samples. If they find mold in the air samples, they know that somewhere inside the building, something is making those mold levels uh, high. So then that way it gives the contractor an opportunity to maybe do some moisture testing and different things like that. But as far as in a crawl space, I don't think uh, doing any kind of sampling beforehand is necessarily uh, a great idea, but certainly after, if you feel like the contractor do it, didn't do a good job. And, and uh, what we mean by that is they didn't physically remove the mold. So you go in there, you're like, hey, did you remediate? And they're like, oh yeah, it's all gone. And you go in there and you see like fuzz growing all over the joist. And you're like, well, why is there still mold there? Oh. We took care of it, trust us, right? So you wanna make sure you test that. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.